Welcome back, brothers, to the shop. Today's video has been requested by one of our longtime subscribers, Alan Gassler, Ask me, Cody, what is that little ratchet that you had in the last video? Well, funny, you should ask, Alan. I told him in the comments that I would do a video on this uh, because this has become one of my new favorite tools. Now, as I said in the past, the first Snap-on tools that I started buying was just when I was still in high school, I was working as an outboard mechanic uh, just on small engines, and I, I started buying quarter-inch drive tools. Quarter-inch drive tools are the smaller of the ratchets. Just for reference, this is quarter-inch drive. This is three-eighths, which is probably the most ubiquitous, the most common, and half-inch, just to get an idea of the scale of this stuff so you can see. So this is a normal quarter-inch drive ratchet. Now, what is a quarter-inch drive ratchet for? Why the three different sizes? As a rule of thumb, of course, there's always exceptions, but as a rule of thumb, your quarter-inch drive, if we're going to be talking about metric, is going to be suitable for, let's say, six millimeters to, I'm going to say, uh, 10. <laughs> Maybe 13, but 10, 10 to 13, somewhere in there. And then your half-inch drive is going to be your bigger stuff, which is, you know, going to start like at 15, 16 and up. And then the sweet spot in the middle, you know, your 3 eighths to 7 eighths. So, so just kind of a rule. So what, why does that matter? Well, why it matters is if you're working on small pieces of equipment, a motorcycle mechanic has a very different need for hand tools than someone that's working on uh, caterpillars or trucks, big dozers. So for small work, like I started doing small outboard motors, I started buying the quarter inch tools and I've always had a fondness for them. I like using them because they're, they're just so good at getting into small spaces. Uh, they're Great for small bolts. I've always felt that a 3 8 drive just is a little bit chunky and big for that. Perfect for cars, but always a little bit big for motorcycles. So that's kind of where we're starting at. So my tool, I had a pretty respectable set of tools, uh, snap-on tools, uh, after you know, spent, been buying for many, many years. And then when I started my Jeep parts business, I had, uh, of course, employees, and I, they just used my tools. And it's amazing how they just all disappeared, <laughs> or the majority of them. So now I'm kind of, uh, I've set a little allotment for myself every month, and I, I'm just slowly replacing uh, the tools that I, um, just a few every month until I can, you know, get, get built back up to, to what I had. So this month, actually what I purchased were these extensions, a set of quarter inch drive extensions. I was actually, I was only down, I was down to, to two. I had two little tiny ones um, and they weren't even snap on. They were like kind of an off brand. Uh, so I bought a complete set, uh, this little articulating ratchet. And then if you're going to get the little ratchet, you got to get this guy too, because these two are like peas and carrots together. That right there, I've, I've been working on my motorcycle and rebuilding my 300. This here has been in my hand for three days and I absolutely love it. Having this little adapter gives you the ability to tighten with your thumbs, you know, when you get things up. And the nice thing about this, especially when you're like six, eight, 10 millimeter, it's almost impossible, unless you're an East Coast guy, to over tighten things and to strip them out. And that's important working on delicate machinery like outboard motors and motorcycles where you have a lot of aluminum, man, stripping out bolts and engine blocks is catastrophic. And this kind of helps that. And the way that it's designed and how it fits in the hand and the fine tooth make it an absolutely delightful little tool. This one and the little pink straight three or quarter drive um, are the two that I tend to use the most. But I really have, I've never had one before, but I have a, 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 I'm developing a great fondness for this little tool. It is, it's brilliant. They make one that's straight that doesn't have the articulating. I kind of agonized over which one would be best. And I think if you were going to have one, I think the articulating, because it's pretty stiff, it just gives you a few more options. You know, you can even, you know, you can even get in there and, and you know, you can tighten things quickly with it. It is a handy, handy little tool. Now, every time I fe feature snap-on tools, I mean, haters come out and I, I, I it's always, people always say it's about the price. And I'm not saying that that's not important. That is absolutely important. But there's more to things than just price. If you just base your decisions, your, your opinions on things off of price and have not spent the time with them and understand why they are what they are, um, some things can be lost. Let me give you a perfect example here. I don't know if a lot of guys know this, and I don't have all the details right, but somebody can straighten me out if you're a line mechanic, but mechanics work on, a lot of them work on a scale of what they call the flat rate. So if you're working at a dealership, 
um, the a Ford dealership, for example, the the, the engineers at Ford have um, figured out how long it takes to remove and replace a transmission. Let's say R and R. Let's say it's 10 hours, right? 10 hours, they've determined that's what's allotted to do that job. Now, if you're a working guy, you've got to get that done in 10 hours. Now, if you can get it done in eight, well, better for you. You've made more money. But if you get it done in 13, you're losing money. So they don't have time. Time is money for those guys. And they don't have time to mess around with things that, that get in their way or prevent them from doing difficult jobs. Here's where the difference comes in. in, in what, just one example. Take the extensions, for example. This is a full set of three -eighths or a quarter inch drive extensions. And one thing that maybe guys won't notice is that if you've worked on this stuff is sometimes you get one where this one's too long and this one's too short and you just need something in between. What Snap-on does is any combination of extensions that you put together will never equal the same length as, as one of the individuals. So you can, cust no matter what combination you put together, they will never equal the same length as one of the, one of the existing. So you have a myriad of combinations and options uh, to get the job done and to get into those hard to get tight fitting spots. You know, which it may not seem like a, a big thing, but when you're working flat rate and you're working and it's your living, those little things can make a big difference, right? And we're not even talking about just the overall quality and, and the reliability and USA made. I mean, that goes without saying. We all understand that, right? But it goes further than that. You know, I've always say it's, it's the little things. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is such a perfect example. These extensions have a secret feature. So if you look at the end here, you'll see that it looks a little, little bit different. Now maybe I can zoom in on that right there. You see how it's got kind of a taper on it, bevels on the end? Now if you pair this with, a, with one of their sockets, what this gives you is a two position extension. So this right here offers 16 degrees of deflection. Why is that important? Well, when you snake this thing into in the dark and recesses of trying to get some carburetor off or behind a bunch of stuff, Having that little bit of deflection right there, that 16 degrees, can be everything. But check it out. Let's say you don't want this. Say you don't want the extension. You don't want that wobbling around on there. And, and, and like, how time consuming is it going to be? To, oh, I got the wrong extension. Go back and get one that's straight. No. Push it beyond, and now it locks up. That's this little type of things that I'm talking about that make all the difference to line mechanics and professionals and just creates an overall joy and a pleasure these tools are a pleasure to work with. Having these options and thoughtfulness to grab this with the ability to lock it up or to deflect it, to get in there and, and, and to un tighten little things, it, it's it, in combination with the fine tooth. So you have, you know, to catch the next, next tooth, you have a real small swing ratio versus coarse teeth where you might have to come clear up here before it in, engages it can make all the difference. A lot of guys maybe wouldn't notice the difference, but when you're handling this stuff and you're working with it day in and day out, I, I promise you it makes a difference. Not to mention just the overall pl pleasure and joy that you'll have. And the other thing that happens with these tools is they are so expensive, you, you're not likely to lose them. <laughs> if, you, if you keep them locked up and you're not sharing them amongst employees, which I wouldn't recommend, get your employees a basic set of their own uh, that's not quite so expensive to replace and keep these to yourself and keep, and keep them locked up. But the joy that you get from using them, um, and the, it's, it's wonderful. You take care of them because they're precious to you. Uh, they'll always have value. As I said, just look at the secondary market. And a great option, and what I always try to do, I, I bought this one new because I couldn't find one used, but Facebook Marketplace, as I've said, I've been I've been getting a lot of stuff there and at about half price. So make yourself a list, you know, kind of start. If I was going to start, I wouldn't start with my tool collection. I wouldn't start with the little ones unless you just did worked on motorcycles or small equipment. You probably want to start with three eighths. Build yourself a three eighths set. And what I did, what I bought mine, and you know, just here's another thing. Do you see these, the socket links make a difference? 
right here. So here we have a typical, this is 3 8 drive. This is a typical short socket, right? We're all familiar with that. Here's a deep well. Deep well and short. Why do you need two? Well, sometimes you have bolts that have long studs, lots, lots of thread, and, and this won't go down on it. You can't get it, but this one will. But I find with these things is that the deeps are kind of unhandy to use because when you get them on, you've got a lot of leverage, and it, it, it's, it can, you can strip bolts out. And I would never have really liked deep sockets, but shallows are always too shallow. So the first sockets that I bought, and I, which are my absolute favorite, are the mid-length. So you can get a mid-length socket right there. So you, there's three different lengths. And the mid-length seems to be, and this was, was what I ran in my tool cart, I only had mid-length sockets. Mid-length and shallow, and I never really came across anything that I couldn't get undone. This takes care of when you have a little bit of extra. Uh, it's not, there's not so much leverage on it, but just little things like that. And you'll also see here in, on these sockets that the 12 point or 6 point, that the, you can only go so far. You know, the, I don't know if they use a brooch or what they use to cut that. But what that's nice for is that when you put a small bolt in there, it doesn't drop to the bottom and disappear, even, even on the deep ones. And that's a big, huge problem. Because like if you want to go and start something with a cheap, inferior brand socket, let's say you want to start it by hand, and you got a little six millimeter bolt, well, it falls in the bottom there and you know you can't start it where the snap-ons or the higher quality ones are going to hold that up there and you're going to have threads exposed. So it, it matters. It matters and it makes a big difference. I'll put the, I'll try to remember to put the part number in here for this guy, but this is a neat little combo. I think I'm going to, maybe next month, I, I overspent my lot this month because I bought a torque wrench as well as these three little guys. Uh, but maybe in two months, I might, I might l even look at buying one of these in a 3 8 Basically, it would be this head with a small stubby handle on it. And I think that would be a handy little guy. Very neat little tool. A lot of guys on YouTube, a lot of line mechanics uh, have videos on these. That's where I kind of first saw it. The guys were saying how much they liked it for small spaces. Uh, it is a delightful, just a delightful little tool. So there you go, Alan. You ask and you received. <laughs> I, I'm happy to do it. Uh, it's, um, you, you have a discerning eye. You notice you, could, you, you saw a good tool and you were curious about it and uh, I admire that. So that's it. The little snap-on stubby and quarter inch. Big fan. It's in my top, top 10 favorites for sure. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers. And we'll see you all on the next video.